Bienvenidos a Madrid. Welcome to Madrid. If you only have a few days to explore this amazing Spanish capital, here are some great ideas to get you started. We'll begin our journey here at the Barajas Airport, only about 30 minutes by car from the city center. The metro system of Madrid is one of the fastest, most comfortable and economical ways to get around the city. Madrid has 12 metro lines and hundreds of stations, which make hopping from place to place simple and fun. Another budget-friendly option would be to hop on a city bus, or for the most direct way to get from point A to B, you can hail down a local taxi. When in Madrid, you'll want to try the tapas, which are available most everywhere. The term tapas covers a wide variety of appetizers and snacks served in most restaurants or bars with a drink. Typical tapas include patatas bravas, tortilla española, croquetas, and jamón ibérico. A great way to try different Spanish tapas is to go to the Mercado de San Miguel, the most popular market in Madrid among tourists and located in the city center. The market is not a traditional grocery market, but a gourmet tapas market, with over 30 different vendors selling a wide variety of freshly prepared tapas. For a heartier appetite, you can take advantage of the menu de día, which includes a fixed price for a complete meal typically served during comida between the hours of 2 and 5 p.m. every day. Of course, when in Madrid, you want to try the paella, the national dish of Spain. Paella is a traditional rice dish typically prepared over an open flame, cooked in a wide paella pan with a protein such as shellfish. For a delicious treat, be sure to try churros con chocolate. The locals often enjoy churros with their coffee in the morning or after a long night out. But if you ask me, any time of day is the right time for this decadent delight. Likely, the two most famous museums in Madrid are the Museo Nacional del Prado and the Museo Reina Sofia. The Prado Museum, located in central Madrid, houses one of the world's finest collections of European art, dating from the 12th century to the early 20th century, and the single best collection of Spanish art from greats like Diego Velázquez, Francisco Goya, and El Greco. The Museo Reina Sofia is mainly dedicated to Spanish art. Highlights of the museum include excellent collections of Spain's two greatest 20th century masters, Pablo Picasso and Salvador Dali. The most famous masterpiece in the museum is Picasso's 1937 painting, Guernica, regarded by many art critics as the most moving and powerful anti-war paintings in history. If you've got the time and are looking for a break from city life, you can catch a train on Renfe, Spain's national railway system, for an easy day trip that will take about an hour from the Atocha station in Madrid. Segovia is a city only about an hour outside of Madrid that can be easily explored on foot. Your first impression will be of the ancient aqueduct, and from there, an easy walk will take you to the Alcazar Fortress. To see amazing views of the city, it is definitely worthwhile to climb the 152 stairs to the top of the tower. El Escorial is a town northwest of Madrid and a short one-hour train ride from Atocha Station. It's home to La Granjilla, 
a 16th century park and palace created by King Philip II. The park has sweeping views of the neighboring town, San Lorenzo de El Escorial. This town contains the 16th century royal monastery, the most important architectural monument of the Spanish Renaissance. The Madrid skyline is one of the most beautiful in Spain, and the perfect place to appreciate it is from the roof of the Círculo de Bellas Artes. Enjoy a drink and some tapas while appreciating the view of the city. Another great location for a bird's eye view of Madrid is just down the street at the Palacio de Cibeles from the Mirador Madrid. Just jump on the metro and get off at Banco de España and you'll find yourself within walking distance to both. As with any European capital city, Madrid has its landmarks. When visiting Madrid, be sure to check out these iconic places. Plaza Mayor is the main city square located in the heart of Madrid, which was once the center of old Madrid. Today, you'll find plenty of restaurants, stores, and shopping, all designed to attract tourists with prices to match. The Puerta de Alcalá is an 18th century monumental gate commissioned by King Charles III. It stands near the city center and close to the main entrance of Madrid's largest park, El Retiro. El Parque de Buen Retiro, or simply El Retiro, is one of the largest parks of the city. The park belonged to the Spanish monarchy until the late 19th century when it became a public park. For a fun afternoon, you can rent a boat in the Estanque del Retiro or stroll along the many paths and check out the Palacio de Cristal or walk through the Bosque de Recuerdo, a memorial monument to commemorate the 191 victims of the 2004 terrorist attack in Madrid. At the Plaza de Cibeles, you'll find Madrid's most famous fountain sitting just in front of the beautiful Palacio de Cibeles, which has become a symbol for the city of Madrid. Certainly the most famous street located near the center of Madrid is Gran Via, where you'll find plenty of shopping, cinemas, restaurants, and hotels. The Royal Palace of Madrid, or Palacio Real, is the official residence of the Spanish royal family in Madrid, although now only used for state ceremonies. The Royal Palace has over 3,400 rooms and is the largest palace by floor space found in Europe. The palace is open to the public and is located in a beautiful pedestrian zone of Madrid, allowing for only foot traffic, bicycles, and essential vehicles. The Temple of Debod, or Templo de Debod, is an ancient Egyptian temple that was dismantled and rebuilt in the center of Madrid. The temple was donated to Spain by the Egyptian government in 1968. Of course, Madrid is so much more than landmarks. It's a beautiful, culturally rich, vibrant European city with incredible people and a rich history. Bienvenidos a Madrid. Welcome to Madrid.